you have some big things happening in your love relationship sector for this week. It might have already happened, you know, over the long weekend. We do have a holiday here in the um, United States. So for those who are watching, um, but either way, I feel like there are some big things that are coming into the picture. Um, I see a lot of uh, the theme is uh, dominance and control. Okay wanting to exert a certain amount of control in your relationships and then dealing with a partner who is just as control minded as uh, stubborn and um, as intelligent as you. So there are huge issues here about not wanting to relinquish control, wanting things a specific way, not wanting the partner to have the upper hand. And then um, one person feels like, there, there might be manipulated or there, one person feels like the other person is too controlling. And so I also feel for those of you who are in relationships with children, issues, uh, disagreements when it comes to parenting, parenting styles, even co-parenting, exes uh, coming into the picture because you know, of joint assets or because um, you're shuttling children between two different homes, your home and the ex's home, and that can stir up some insecurities and jealousy and control issues with the current partner. So I feel like there are a lot of, it's a big week. And um, I wish I could say, you know, be patient, but it's not so much about patience. It's more about elevating yourself and trying to understand things from your partner's perspective. Okay. And uh, I feel like approaching the situation with an open mind, not being defensive and understanding where your partner is coming from and understanding from what space their emotions are being stirred. So some people, they, they get, they become irrational when they're jealous so if it's jealousy, that's the root of the problem that you're seeing in your partner, you might need to, you know, get to the root of the problem. So all of these other things that they're exhibiting, controlling behaviors, picking fights, uh, being, um, adding fuel to the fire, I feel like th those are symptoms when the innate, like the underlying cause is because they're jealous or insecure, okay? So talking about that and addressing those issues rather than the symptoms would be helpful. And um, I also feel like, yeah, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is controlling. So let me just um, show you the cards. And I'm going to show you these two cards first. So how your partner sees you. I have here the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's like a homebody, okay? They take really good care of other people. Take really good care of other people. And they like to make sure that, you know, the kids are fed. They like to make sure their partner is fed, well taken care of. They like to give massages. They're very sensual, very, usually very beautiful, uh, very dependable. And other people can always rely on them. But I feel like your partner feels almost like you're very dependable. Um, they will, it's almost like somebody might have taken your dependability for granted and they always assume, oh, you know, Gemini, you're always going to be there. They're, they're always going to be around. I will always run into them. And I feel like somebody's taking that, that really sweet, nurturing, reliable, you know, uh, qualities about you. They're taking that for granted. You show up as well with the death card and the death card deals with, you know, major transformation. This is a card greatly about somebody who makes a lot of sacrifices. Okay. You're willing, you have all this abundance, but you're willing to live in a very barren landscape for the betterment of other people. So if you have like children, you're willing to, you know, uh, forego that new car, forego that new iPhone, forego that new wardrobe because you want to save up for your kids college funds for example okay or you know you're able to like you, you don't care about the externality you don't care about you know the 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 nice car the corner office the two-story house the the shiny new ride like you don't care about these things these materialistic things that other people care about and so 
I feel like we have the tower coming in and that's why I pulled these two cards to clarify the tower. The tower is like when you're pushed back your uh, past your limits, when you're taken for granted and when you are experiencing a place where you feel like you feel very stuck, you are capable of causing a lot of fire and fury. When people either take you for granted or when your security, your sense of security, whatever that might mean, uh, is threatened, you're able to, you know, create a lot of chaos, okay? You're able to lash out. You're able to be very harsh and say hurtful things, but in a way where you make sure that it really hurts the other person. So I feel like um, this is a week for us to really control tem our temper and to be a little bit more cognizant of where we are channeling the energy. Why are we feeling so upset? What is the underlying reason why we're upset? So somebody is going to trigger, you know, security issues, dominance issue, power control issues, as well as, you know, a mixture of that. All of that swirled together with like manipulation. Where were you? What were you up to? Things like that, you know cross-examining, interrogating, and cornering you where it's going to make you feel um, like, why would you question me? I have always been loyal. I have always been around. And if you're questioning me, are you the one that's projecting onto me? So you're smart enough to know that, you know, a lot of the times to partners project their insecurities onto us. And so I feel like there's some major, major arguments um, coming into the picture. And um, the way that your partner sees you is I feel like you're trying to make some major changes in your life. You're realizing a lot of things are not working. For some of you, it could be a relationship that's not really working because it's all about dominance and control. And I also see this image of like um, sand slipping through somebody's fingers and the... the, the um, the more they try to hold on to it, four of pentacles, uh, holding on to, you know, earthly possessions, holding on, being controlling, being closed off, not communicating, feeling like on the defense, like feel somebody's feeling like they need to be defensive. They need to, you know, protect what's theirs, like um, the jealousy, the, the controlling streak. So... If you're dealing with a partner like that, it's going to create a lot of chaos, okay? So I feel like that's what's happening here, and these are things that need to be really addressed because it's leading to a toxic relationship, honestly. Um, the person that you're dealing with, I have here the Ace of Swords. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Earth sign or an Air sign, okay? But I feel like this energy is an Air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And this is sort of like somebody that can make the situation a lot clearer for you. They come with a lot of insights. They're very intelligent, very articulate. There's the moon in the um, at the tip of the sword. So it's not just somebody who is, you know, like book smart. They're also full of wisdom and insight. They know a lot about human psychology they know how to manipulate a situation. They know how to spin a situation. They know how to make the situation come, in, in, come out in their favor. So you're dealing with someone who's very, very powerful. But there's that delicate balance with that moon kind of balancing on the tip of the sword. It's like it's somebody who's very balanced. Their sense of um, intelligence is balanced by uh, morality and also intuition. So you're dealing with someone who's like very, you know, cut and dry, yes or no, black or white, moral, but um, also like very, um, it, it's somebody that doesn't really tolerate BS, okay? It, it's somebody who's like, you're with me or, or you're against me. I, I don't really tolerate gray areas. And so if you're dealing with this person, I feel like you admire them for their ability to be articulate and to communicate exactly what they feel or exactly how they want. And a lot of the times I feel like you have been holding back when it comes to how you feel about specific people. You might not like somebody, but you don't tell them because you don't want to hurt their feelings. 
And then I feel like you're dealing with someone who's kind of like the opposite of you, where their energy is very, is very clear cut. It, it's like the, the, um, the, it's like that, um, you know, if you're walking around in a daze and there's a lot of fog around you, this is like the, the that, that big fan that blows away all the fog and makes everything clear and easy to comprehend and easy to understand. And you're able to see the bigger picture. The um, ways in which the two of you are interacting with each other, I have the Empress. And this is sort of like finding somebody that really nurtures you, that really puts you on a pedestal, that really wants to, you know, build a relationship with you. Okay? Um, they see the really good things in you. So despite all the fire and the fury that you're causing with this tower moment here, this realization, whoever you're dealing with, they still care about you. They still love you. And they still put you on this pedestal that you feel, I don't really belong here. I'm a little bit ashamed of how I acted. And I'm a little bit like embarrassed at, you know, the, the emotional outbursts. Because air signs are always um, embarrassed about their emotional outbursts. But I feel like no matter what, the other person sees you as their partner. And they put you on a pedestal. And, you know, you're not going to fall off your pedestal. Even the fire and the fury and the rage, it doesn't knock you off your pedestal. So you don't really have much to worry about here. And I feel like if you're dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, they understand you and they understand that we all have our emotional outbursts and tantrums. It's okay. That's just the nature of air signs. They're almost like fire signs where um, they explode and they get over it. Okay, um, fire signs explode a little bit more. Air signs, um, it takes them a while, but I feel like they do explode. And then they'll, they'll, they'll keep it in their mind, but at least, you know, that part of it is out in the open and they can, you know, at least move on. So they're just looking at it kind of like, okay, it's just, you know, natural for us to want to vent every once in a while. But they still see you in a really good light and no matter what, they see your positive qualities. They know that you're very nurturing. They know that you're very abundant, very beautiful, very attractive as well with this Empress energy. And you're able to nurture other people. And so what's coming in is if you're dealing with somebody who tries to control, who tries to control you, I have here the Magician and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, you kind of need to recognize the situation for what it is. And on the other hand, if you're dealing with somebody who's like the magician, they're strong enough to handle their your energy. They're strong enough to put up with the tantrums. They're strong enough to not run away at the first sign of trouble. And so I feel there is a little bit of an outburst, a little bit of shame afterwards, after the emotional outburst. And you're like, is somebody going to look at me the same way? I, I feel so, you know, ashamed. I feel like embarrassed. But they're strong enough to handle your human flaws, okay? They're also strong enough to handle your humanity. So I feel like you don't really need to worry. You don't need to um, be afraid, okay? So overall, I do feel strong air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and strong earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like somebody is, there. there's still that element of control in a situation, wanting to kind of like um, a partner might say something and they want you to obey, but you, you're not going to obey because you're like, no one tells me what to do. No one is going to restrict my movement or no one is going to force their opinions on me. So I feel like differences in opinions creating a lot of clashes between you and a partner. Okay, so learn to kind of deal with the energy. We're always going to um, meet opposition from people in a work environment, in relationships, and either way, being able to verbalize how we think and why we think the way that we do, how we feel and why we feel the way that we do. It makes us, uh, you know, a more mature person. And it makes us a little bit more secure in ourselves and the way we think or the way we feel. Okay, so think of it as just a um, an opportunity for you to really be clear about how you feel about another person or how you feel about um, where you stand and where other people cannot cross boundaries with you. Okay. Um, I feel like, well, the second spread here um, 
it's, it's very work, work, work oriented. So I feel like for many of you, work is really piling up and it's almost like burying yourself in work so that you don't feel burying yourself in work so that you don't um, distract yourself with with meaningless conversations. So keeping to yourself, um, taking care of business as well as um, I, I feel this element here about, you know, trying to recoup your losses. OK, so if there has been like major house repairs, if there has been major car repairs, if there has been even major investment in a car, you're trying to save up just so you can balance out. If you had to dip into your savings in order to, you know, repair the house or the car, this is the week where you're starting to, you know, see the comeback, see money trickling into your savings. And then I also feel for many of you, there's going to be communication here. We have the Ace of Swords again regarding a new job, okay? Regarding a new offer, a promotion, a pay increase, a new project that you're working on. It's going to be coming in and there's going to be that royalty checks. For those of you in uh, working on a commission basis, that's what's coming in, that royalty check. That's going to really help your pocketbook, okay? And then I also feel like if there has been tenuous communication, in particular coming in from an earth sign who never, ever, ever takes initiative to do some anything, they're going to reach out and they're going to take a little bit more initiative coming in for this uh, week. If this is somebody in your work environment in particular, they're going to reach out and there's going to be a lot more like... Um, they're going to step up their game if you've been frustrated dealing with them and if you feel like you've had to do everything for them baby them hold their hands i feel like they're getting ready to to soar and re getting ready to fly and they're gonna um you know put what you taught them into practice so put theory into practice and i feel like it's going to be a very proud moment where your maternal paternal instincts will kick in and you're just like oh I, I taught this person everything they know and now they're going out into the world and you know spreading the news so other areas of your life money is coming in everything is looking very stable um i also feel like for some of you um there's a lot of success coming through so you're kind of padding I feel like padding your resume with a lot of extracurricular activities. You're also trying to as well. Um, I'm seeing like scoping out a new office for those who are self-employed, fixing things up for those who just purchased a new house, um, installing things, putting up pictures, nailing things to the wall. And um, I also feel like doing a little bit of a decoration with your car, getting new upholstery, you know, like the, the seat upholstery and things like that, okay? So I feel like just the relationship is a little bit choppy, but the the rest of it, I feel like it's going to be fine, all right? Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Take care, okay?